so hello everyone Sonia here I have went to the store and bought a new belt they almost didn't have one but I was very lucky that there was one left and it was tucked away but anywho um, now is the process of putting the belt back on I'm gonna have to wrap it around all these different pulleys up in, underneath here so we're gonna start that first go over on the other side for a second hey guys I'm on the other side now <laughs> many times I wanted to say that Okay, I'm back over here. What I do is I wrapped it around the top pulley up here, and then there's two more pulleys, a bigger one and a small one. So I've got it around that, and now I've got to do it around these over here. And then that's when I'll put this other one back on. Now you're seeing my backside a lot. That's what happens. Top one keeps coming undone here. It's a matter of getting this to pull into place. Give it a little bit of extra lump there. All right, there we go. Make sure everything's on. Make sure it's down on there right. Okay, it's wrapped around all the other pulleys. Nothing's fell off. Okay, now I just hope that I put it on right. Put the bolt, uh, the nut back on the bolt here. Oh, I just noticed something that happened. No, it's right. Never mind. See, I really hope I did this right. Sometimes it's called trial and error. I may end up doing this again later. You know, some people ask me why I don't hire somebody else to do this stuff, but all my life I've always enjoyed working with tools and building things and I don't know, doing it myself just gives me so much more confidence and I mean it's just, you know, it's rewarding. It's very rewarding to do it yourself. ratchet but I'm gonna put it on there anyway and I uh, just tighten this up a little bit there we go that should be it then I'm gonna get on a lawnmower here in a second and see if it works thanks a lot guys till next time I'll find something else cool to do all right bye